Nutrition has long been linked to prevention and treatment of disease. But with GPs under pressure, lifestyle conversations are time limited. So could independent health food shops hold the key to helping patients improve their health? Viridian Nutrition believes so, and its supplements are only stocked by retailers where staff commit to nutritional education. Louise Holland has this report. The link between nutrition and our physical and mental health is of course very well known. And while the NHS offers guidelines on healthy eating, some are wondering why the focus on nutrition isn't as strong as it could be in GP surgeries. GPs are under a lot of pressure at the moment and NHS funding has gone down remarkably. So I feel like we're practicing more reactive medicine than preventative medicine. You know, patients are coming in with a list of their problems because they've had to hold on to all of these issues as they haven't been able to get appointments and we've got 10 minutes to try and attack each of these acute things. But it means that sadly we're no longer thinking about how can we prevent problems from happening, how can we educate, how can we promote health. And frustratingly for GPs, the best advice often can't be handed out via a prescription. Lifestyle medicine to me is about using interventions like physical exercise, diet, sleep management, stress management to reduce the risk of disease and to lessen the burden of an illness. Health food stores are a great resource to help with education, to help with lifestyle and to help with kind of simple health and well-being tips. So I, I really think we need to start drawing on that expertise and, and not feeling like we have to be so protective over medicine. And health food stores are a resource ready and waiting to be tapped into. With over 850 independent shops around the UK, like G Baldwin & Co in South London, staff are on hand to offer life-changing advice. But how do we know the staff in store are qualified to offer advice on our health? The Health Food Institute trains proprietors, managers and sales assistants. And it also has a course for sales representatives coming into the health food trade. We want to be sure that staff understand what they're saying to a customer. And so we use a, a protocol that we hope every person who is on the shop floor will be able to use. Well, I would be wanting to know, first of all, if you came in, who the product is for, um, what else potentially you might be taking, um, what your diet and lifestyle is like, so if you have extra nutritional requirements. And on the basis of those questions then, I'll talk you through some different things that might help you. We are encouraged to follow the diploma that's offered by the Health Food Institute, which is a very comprehensive diploma. A diploma set over two levels that covers everything from the nutritional requirements in certain foods, to nutrients, to bo different body systems, how the body works, what can go wrong, how it might need some extra support. Yeah, it's a very comprehensive um, study program. Training is considered so important that ethical vitamin company Viridian Nutrition will only supply its range to stores where they are confident that staff are suitably educated and even provide additional training to stores. By following the HFI protocol it means that the staff have have a, a basic foundation of nutrition and they know they can ask the right questions and get the right supplement for the right person. So while there is no question that the health food industry has been helping people to better health for years, will we see a time when GPs consistently signpost patients to health food stores? Well, it would be great. I can't say that we're an underrated resource because we're a very well utilised resource. But to have all shops hopefully be as busy as ours or people coming in, being directed in would be great. I would suggest GPs start to familiarise themselves with the local health food stores. You know, go there, have a chat to the people that work there, understand the training they've had, the protocols that they have to go through, the services that they can provide, so that actually the GP can then confidently suggest to their patient in that consultation that this is an appropriate place to go.